Well, the singularity is a, is, a, is, a, is a cultural concept, I would say, even more than it is a scientific concept at the moment. Uh, it is a futurist concept uh, that is emerging um, and, and largely uh, advocated or, or discussed in public by the inventor Ray Kurzweil that due to uh, Moore's law, that computing uh, doubles in capacity, what, every year? What is it? Every year and a half. Every year and a half. I have to repeat that, hang on. Every year and a half. Mm -hmm. Every year and a half, correct. Uh, that, uh, that technology uh, will, uh, that uh, artificial intelligence uh, will, sooner than we think, be able to replicate a human brain. And then once it does that, sooner than we think, artificial intelligence will become smarter than the human brain. And then we will be able, that artificial intelligence will be able to solve some of the problems that uh, still elude the human brain, uh, most notably or provocatively, uh, the mechanical process of aging, such that it could either be slowed or stopped, or, tra or consciousness transferred into technology itself. And that we will sooner rather than later pass through a, a period of no return in history called the singularity, where our essentially we'll have moved to a different kind of species, one that combines uh, biological intelligence with artificial intelligence and biological life with uh, mechanical, uh, biomechanical life. This is also tied into gene therapies and, and, and miniature robotics and that sort of thing. That's a beautiful summary. And that after that, the, the point of the singularity is not merely that uh, we will become robots or the robots will take care of us and, uh, and make us immortal or, uh, or that nanobots will be developed that will cure all diseases so much as is we don't know what will happen once artificial intelligence is able to back uh, sort of a retrofit a human brain of its own. And when that happens, and it will happen sooner than we think, uh, everything will be different and we'll reach a, a point in history where what happens after that is unimaginable to, what hap to those of us who come before it and those of us who come after will not be able to imagine what life was like before it. Now, there's a dimension of that that, that you left out. Did I get it right or wrong? You got it. You get A almost plus. Okay. So the almost, the missing part of the plus. A gentleman's A almost plus. There you go. Okay. <laughs> is that the notion that you'll live forever is not simply one of biology. It's the concept that once the computer can replicate all human thought, then you could actually just download your entire brain's capacity to think into some device and then that is the functional you going forward and it doesn't even need your body you can put it in some other body later on if you so chose but your existence then becomes immortal not because you figured out how to live forever physically but you how to preserve and maintain the capacity of your brain in the machines that have equaled the capacity of your brain